Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. In today's video, we're going to show you how easy it is to change the door bellows on your front load washer. One of the most common issues with front load washers is damage to the door bellows. They may be damaged from either items in the tub, or you may wish to replace it based on misuse and a buildup of mold and mildew. Although this washer may not be the same as yours, the process to replace the door bellows is pretty much the same on all front load washers. Now like any appliance repair, the first thing we need to do is to disconnect power to the appliance. We'll also need access to the back of this washer to remove that main top. So we're going to pull it slightly forward, unplug it, and then we'll start this repair. Now the top panel on most front load washers is held in place with either two or three screws across the back. So we simply need to remove those. Once you've removed the screws, we're simply going to pull that top panel back, typically three quarters to an inch, and then you should be able to lift it off. Now with the top removed, our next step is to determine how the console comes off. Alternately, there may be held in place with some screws, or there may be just some tabs located under the back edge at the top of that console. So either remove the screws or lift up on the console to release the tabs. Now we'll go back to the front of the washer and our next step will be to remove the detergent dispenser. Typically there may be one or two screws hidden behind that. So simply pull it forward until it reaches the stop, depress that stop, and then remove the drawer and just set it aside. Next we've located a screw hidden behind that drawer. We next need to remove that. Now that we've removed all the retaining screws, we're next ready to remove that console. If your model didn't have screws across the back and uses clips, we would next want to lift up enough to release those, and then typically we'd tilt that console forward and lift it away from the top of the front panel. Now with the console disconnected from the top of the front panel, there's typically enough wire harness there that we can just rotate it out of the way and allow it to sit there. So next we need to open up that door and we're going to remove the screws that secure the door lock switch assembly to the front panel. Now our next step will be to detach the existing door bellows from the front panel. They're typically held in place with a wire clamp that runs around the perimeter of that bellows and there will typically be a spring in the six o'clock position. The easiest way to remove that band clamp is with a flat blade screwdriver. We're just going to carefully go in between the bellows and the spring and pivot it out so that we can release the tension. And then just lift it away from the bellows and set it aside. Now the profile of that bellows is matched to a V-groove in our front panel so we need to just pull that out all the way around. Now we can remove the screws for the front panel. Now depending on your model, you may have a lower access panel that you need to remove to gain access to more screws that secure your front panel on. Others may have this spring clip on the top that you'll need to depress before you can tilt that panel away. And you may also have one that has an access door through the front to the drain valve and there may be a screw hidden behind there. So be sure that you've removed all of the retaining screws and then we'll lift that front panel and door assembly away so that we can access our outer tub. Just tilt the panel forward, then we'll carefully lift that assembly off and we'll set it aside. Now next we need to determine how the bellows is attached to the outer tub. Typically there is some type of a band clamp that wraps around the perimeter of that bellows, securing it to a lip on that outer tub. This particular one is a screw type fastener on the top of that clamp, so we simply need to loosen that. Once we've loosened that screw enough, we'll just peel the clamp out of the groove around the bellows, and then we're just gonna set that aside. Now before we pull the bellows away from the outer tub, we want to ensure that any feed tube from the dispenser that goes into that bellows is removed. As well, you may find on some models that there is a 
spray connection on the top of the bellows. Again, we would need to disconnect all of that first. Then we're simply going to peel that bellows away from the outer tub. Now with the old bellows removed, you'll see the little V groove in that bellows where the band clamp fits on this particular one. So before we get ready to install our new one, we'll want to clean up the surface where that V groove is going to fit to make sure it sits nicely in place. Now to help with putting the new bellows on, we've applied just a little soapy water solution to that edge that will be contacting the outer tub. We're next going to want to make sure that we line it up properly. Typically there will be some drain holes in the 6 o'clock position at the bottom of that bellows that will correspond with some openings in our outer tub. If your model had a hose from the dispenser into the bellows, you need to make sure that that lines up properly. So then we'll position it onto the tub and then make sure that the groove at the back of that bellows fits properly onto the tub. We'll ensure that our drain holes line up in the proper spot. So before we put that clamp on, just ensure that that bellows is pressed firmly into place on the outer tub. Then we need to ensure that that wire portion of the clamp fits into that V groove. Now as we're tightening that screw, just double check, make sure that wire stayed in place. Now once we have that tightened up, we're ready to put our front panel back in place. Now next we'll need to make sure that the door lock switch assembly is in place. Some models may have a plastic hanger that you can attach it to. Others, we simply need to make sure that we can reach in and grab it once we have our front panel in place. So position the front panel onto the base frame. So we'll tilt that front panel into position. Now with the front panel door assembly secure, we're going to open up that door and then we'll install that door latch to the front panel. And then we'll just position that assembly so that the switch lines up in the hole, hold it in place and reinstall the retaining screws. Now that the door lock is secured to the front panel, we're ready to pull that bellows through the opening. So now we just need to insert that profile of the bellows into the V groove in the front panel. Just ensure that it's firm all the way around and then we're ready to put the clamp back in place. So we'll line up the spring in the 6 o'clock position and we'll feed that wire into that groove. Now depending on your model, it will dictate how much tension you have to put on that spring to stretch that clamp the rest of the way. In some cases you may need to use a pair of pliers and grasp the hook on that wire and stretch the spring to give you the extra length you need to fit it into that groove in the bellows. And some you can simply do it by hand. Now once that's secure, we'll continue to reattach the front panel and then reassemble the rest of the washer. Thank you so much for watching this video. We certainly hope that the tips that we've shown you today will help you when you change your door bellows. If you have any tips or suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. For more videos on appliance repair, maintenance and cleaning tips, be sure to visit our website. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Mm -hmm.